Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Sweet Timber love reading for you beautiful, amazing Scorpios. You know, Scorpio, I've seen this energy before come out like this, so I feel like it's coming back around. You're getting another chance at something here. This energy has always shown up for you, but it doesn't always show up connected with this other energy. But it's telling you that there's a lot of abundance around you at this time, Scorpio, this sweet temper. There's a lot of mystery and a lot of magic. It's that, it's that good juju type of energy, but it's the spiritual good juju, it, I mean, which, which it all is. So welcome back, Scorpio, for another sweet temper love reading and everything in between. Shout out to all of you beautiful, amazing Scorpios. I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. I have really had the honor, excuse me, and the privilege to really connect with some of you guys from this channel as well as the other channel, especially through these readings, these pre-fall special readings that I am offering, where you can get two of them, two questions answered for $10 via email, and you can get a phone reading uh, for $30, 30 minutes, um, and that's part of my pre-fall special. Also, don't forget to check out the description box below if you're interested in any of those beautiful, amazing crystals. I don't have any on now because I left the gym and I just came in. Uh, right? It's been raining today. You see it's kind of dark outside. We're back in the trap. Uh, but check out the description box below. Also, I am on uh, Amazon, my, uh, my shop. Y'all should check out my Amazon shop. They got this thing coming on where we can post so many videos for a lot of things. And I'm going to try to 30 second videos and I'm going to try to challenge myself. So I find it exciting. Stuff like that excites me. Uh, so I'm just trying to do some things, Scorpio. But you should do whatever your intuition is guiding you to do at this time. Because the universe has your back. I said the universe is all upon you, okay? It's like you are surrounded by celestial uh, abundance, celestial beings, celestial information, and celestial's magic, honey. So check it out, Scorpios. This is a general, so it's not going to be for every single Scorpio out here. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest. Scorpio, this is a magical time for love and abundance in everything in between. You have fertility. There she go again, that Empress energy, abundance, fertile, Solid ground, solid foundation, magical. Is that a bluebird? And then next to it, you got this card again. Good luck. And then you're, underneath the bottom, you have spirit guide. Oh, and then you have passion. And then you have life purpose. Are they coming back up again? See? Passion, spirit guide. <clears throat> This is a very, very fertile time for Scorpios is what Spirit is saying. It's like whatever you set out to do is going to be successful. It's going gonna, it's gonna to render you. I was sitting, out, I was sitting outside and um, this just reminded me because this is kind of like, it don't really look black, but you get the appearance that this is a black cat because that's what you think about good luck. But some people think that black cats are bad luck. And it was the most weirdest thing because I had to take a double take. I was sit, sitting outside and the way that I was sitting... I was sitting the other way, but my vehicle, it's like I can lean back and I can see the reflection on my vehicle to see, you know, if there's anybody or anything passing by. And um, I caught a glimpse of a black cat running by. I'm like, where the heck did that black cat come from? I'm like, did I see that? Because it moved so fast, but it was so stealth and it was so, it was moving like, it was moving like a black panther. It's so crazy. I'm telling you, we are so connected. I remember a long time ago when I first moved in this place, and um, I remember hearing, it just seemed like these dogs came out of nowhere. It sounded like a pack of dogs. You heard them coming from the distance, and all of a sudden, and I'm telling y'all, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of how my house is sitting. I feel like I know what it is in hindsight, but at the time, I was sitting in my bedroom, and I just heard them. They was just coming. You could hear them roughing and just coming. They were charging. And they came right to my house. And they was right outside my window just going ham. And I'm like, what the heck? All these dogs. What the heck? Why? You know what? They, they, they came in my yard to fight what? And then they just went on just as quick as they came. The next day, 
I went outside and I was that's back when I was mowing my yard and I was about to mow the yard and I looked and I jumped and it was a snake right outside my window. It, it looked like it had been torn to pieces. <laughs> Y'all. Ooh, it's like the, I felt like that's what it was. It looked like you could see it was just, it had been maimed. It had been mauled. It had been mauled, but it's still in the form where I could see that it was a snake, but it had been mauled. So I'm like, did they see that snake wave from there? Man. It's just like magical things happening. And I, and, and I didn't think about it then. But when I saw this thing, and then I began to, I called somebody over here to remove it. It was dead, but still. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I, I can't. I had somebody come remove it for me. But then it, then it dawned on me. Them dogs went just right out there. Was that, man. I don't know. That's one of them things that make you say, hmm. But it's like, you just never, never know. It's like, you never, never know. That's like that snake that I saw back there. I kept hearing them crows. You know, they was like, I don't know. It was like, pay attention, pay attention. But I had so much poison that I don't think it would come up. But I know that it would have freaked me out. And this was a black one. That's how I could see it so good. And I saw a wave from the window. Spirit got my attention. I'm like, oh. Them birds was going ham up there. You know, them birds was trying to warn me. I feel like my ancestors talked to me through nature. Like, for instance, sometimes I would go outside and there's a frog right at the door. What if that was my Prince Charming? You know, saying, look, rur, 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 I'm here. <laughs> I know you ain't going to want me now, rur, 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 if you can believe. <laughs> Let me in the house, rur, 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 rur. let's see. <laughs> you ain't got to kiss me outside if you don't want nobody to know. <laughs> Just let me in. <laughs> you have to be thinking like that, though. You have to be thinking like that. And I'm just so goofy that I think like that. <laughs> Is this my boo? <laughs> Come on, boo, boo, where you been? <laughs> now, if I kiss you. <laughs> so, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> it's those things that make you say, hmm. Th those are things that are going to happen in your life in this energy. Because you remember, we're in the full moon in Pisces. And I just read that for the uh, collective. Let me read it for you because... This is what it, this is why I say it's a magical time. You got fertility and good luck. Things are going to be happening where you're going to be like, hmm. And you don't, you're not going to need nobody else to confirm that for you. You're going to know what it means. So this is how potent this full moon in Pisces is for the collective, especially if you are tapped in. So this is it, Scorpio. Bear with me. It says, this is an excellent time for daydreaming, imaginative energy, compassion, and calm flowing easily with whatever changes may come. This is an excellent time for manifesting it in your mind, Scorpios. Uh, though that's magic. It's also a very fertile time. It's like... You got fertile ground here. Your, your, your roots are firm, firmly planted. And then good luck too. You got that cat. They say cat bring good luck. Look at the green. Look at look, what, what does that color remind you? It reminds you of money, don't it? We already know the empress is abundant. This is your energy. It says this marks a very fertile time for Scorpios. So if you've been working on a new idea or project, you can be sure that a creative power is stirring within and is ready to be birthed. You just need to nurture your brilliant ideas by keeping your expectations positive. That's the only thing you got to do. That's it. And yeah, I understand. Sometimes that's easier said than done because that's your battles from within. 
But if you could dare take control of your beautiful, powerful mind, and, and, and you ain't got to get away from the negative energy, just transform that charged up negative energy into charged up positive energy. That's the only thing you got to do is make sure you maintain a positive mindset, Scorpio, because it's your attitude where is what defines you. What you want to be where may not be what the people see. <laughs> oh, yeah, honey. It's a magical time. Don't you feel it? Let me give you some. <laughs> That's that good Scorpio magic love. It says, patience is a big challenge if you want to see results. Remain heartened and encouraged for this is when all the magic is happening in the background. See? What does it say? You walk by faith and not by sight. That's that inner know. That's what it is. But the only way you're going to trust that inner know is if you stay connected, Scorpio. You do. You have to be. Remain. It may take a little time, but success awaits you. Trust in divine timing. All good things come to those who wait. And remember that great things come from small beginnings. So never, ever, ever despise your humble beginnings. A long-awaited pregnancy is confirmed. Somebody may find out that they got a child. You masculine Scorpios thought that y'all was probably going to have a good time and move on, and you come finding out that you got a baby. Y'all probably thought that it was over for you. <laughs> Somebody could be an older person that's finding out that they're with child, all right? I'm just saying because it just so happened to be your time, all right? You got away with it all them years, but it's a come back around where... It's just meant to be. It's just meant to be. It says, a birth is announced. Acknowledge your ideas. A new venture is successful. Your hard work has paid off. It's time to celebrate. It's time to pop them bottles. And real quick, let's see what the magical meaning is for good luck. It says, there is a change for the better. Lucky energy surrounds you right now. Grab opportunities with both hands. A black cat signals a lucrative win. See, I told you I saw a black cat. <laughs> and I didn't see it. I saw the reflection of it on my vehicle. Ain't that something? So what if it was a magical cat that went by? Because here it is again. Now, this is not for everybody. This is for those who think magical. All right? So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You remember you got spirit guides, see? What if that was my spirit guide that went by? That comes in all forms. Ooh, ooh, to rejuvenate my passion so that I can help reawaken yours. Ooh, we in this thing together. So let's see, Scorpios. It already is absolutely beautiful and amazing for you. Fertile. You're on fertile ground. Every time I think about fertile grounds, I think about every Easter, it was like clockwork, man. I lived, I lived, 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 lived to watch the Ten Commandments, baby. You couldn't stop me from watching that movie. I loved it. And even to today, I watch it because it has the energy of it. It's so magnetic and so powerful. Even within the end, you can still see the meaning in it and the power. And I like, I like the animation in uh, in, 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 in the livelihood. It's like how you make it, how you make your ideas come alive or your words uh, show in physical form because sometimes you need to see it in order to believe it but sometimes you have to create it in your mind's eye and you have to trust what you see because if you got the nerve and the audacity to think of something and it should not be thinking little, you're supposed to be thinking big, then you must can have it if you thought of it, right? Right then. If you can see it, you can have it. If you can see it, you can have it. You can see it, you can have it. Yeah. While you see it, yeah, yeah. If you're seeing it, you must be able to have it. That's your spirit, guys, tell you. 
Your spirit guides, when you see something absolutely amazing that have you smiling to yourself for no apparent reason, it's because your spirit guides is telling you, you know, Scorpio, instead of looking like that, maybe you should think like this. Maybe you should continue thinking about things that's going to bring you a good report and a good return. Try thinking like that. I don't care if you are sitting in ish. You're still supposed to think. Think about all the people incarcerated. Think about all the people that are bedridden. They cannot physically make a move, but in their mind, they can go anywhere they choose. We got bars. <laughs> Ooh, shout out to the Virgos. We are still in Virgo season. Wishing you a beautiful, abundant, born day. May you be tremendously enriched with spiritual power, spiritual knowledge, as well as healing, so that you can manifest and get all of the lessons out of this journey. Grand rise unto you beautiful souls on this beautiful journey. It is such a beautiful pleasure to be going through this with you. But you do got the four of swords, y'all. Four of swords, ten of cups. Ace of swords. See? See? That's all I'm saying is see, I'm just saying, can I get my props? Can I? Can I? Huh? Can I? That, that she go? I, I, I said, the, that she go? Uh, uh, that she go? I said, a uh, look a hill. See, 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 see. Ooh. Mommy Mia. What's coming in to the Scorpio here? Somebody coming in or you're attracting this? Four swords, you're resting, you need to rest. Mama, you need to re relax, be pampered. Some of y'all may be um, needing to relax because little do you know something behind the scenes is slowly making its way to you. But in the meantime and in between time, relax, Mama, take a break. Surround yourself with love, create a balance in your life because little do you know you got a breakthrough happening here. You have victory here. Spirit say, act like you have won even before you know the results, Scorpios. And whatever that is, one in life, one in whatever. Act like you're the winner. I mean, I mean, how can you not think like that? I'm going to need y'all to come on up here now. You, you can't be acting indifferent with this type of energy. Because if you, are, if you are acting contrary to this, then that does not belong to you. And you have the right to decree and declare and get it up out of you. If you're not feeling loved, if you're not feeling safe and abundant, regardless to where you're at or where you've been, then you're lying to yourself. Because this is the truth. Now, whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe something that's going to help you elevate and grow with abundance? Or are you going to believe something that's going to keep you stuck? I'm telling you what it is. It's a magical time. That empress came out, just told you that. Something is coming here. Something's... Uh, stable, something solid, solid as a tree. <laughs> That's what this love is. Something you've been working on. The feeling is high. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Whoa! Y'all remember Ashford and Simpson? Y'all remember Ashford with the one who had the perm? Man, Valerie. They was like a bougie couple, wasn't they? What was up with that? But it's still, it was like, he was such a feminine masculine, wasn't he? She was more alpha and he was more feminine, but it works. At least in the hour, but even still, you, you I don't know, it's a lot of feminine energy. Ha, the feeling is, ha, 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 solid. As a run, that's what this love is. The feeling is, ha, 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 ha. If they go look, 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 and they go to their lovers and them that two cups. See, see, see what happens when I sing it? <laughs> the magic begins, two of cups, and the lovers, lovers. Underneath the bottom, somebody said, Lord, give me strength. Give me strength. Could be a Leo. Or you, this is a powerful time for you to be in, so you should conduct yourself as such. They go to Knight of Cups now. Mm. Ooh -wee. I say, ooh, we child, yeah. 
Yep. Capricorn, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <laughs> I'm drinking me some um, Moroccan mint tea. And I also got this other type of tea that I got from the metaphysical store. I forgot what it is. Oh, y'all ain't had my microphone on the whole time. <laughs> I hope y'all can hear me. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> Whew, shout out to you beautiful Scorpios who have uh, purchased readings from me. They're still coming in and I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Take a sip, y'all. Hold on. And I always put a clove of garlic in here and some of those soft mints and a little ginger paste. Somebody, um, I feel like I feel like if you're really putting yourself first and yourself and you're resting assured. Now I'm not, I'm saying that when I think about this Empress energy and the fertility, I'm keep, I'm still thinking about it because she showed up twice. I think about the mothers and how they have to protect themselves and take care of their children. And don't you know that there's always a special nurturing protective energy around that feminine energy because she's delicate. Although she has such a mass presence, and she's so anointed because she's a divine, but she's still delicate too. This is the type of energy that you revere, you secure, you take care of, you honor, you respect because she is with child. She's delicate. You protect this energy, don't you? I feel like this is a good time for you mamas to be protected and provided for. This is a good fertile time for you. And when you think about the mother, you think about your needs being met because you have to pr provide for your babies. And then a woman, she's and look, I don't care how alpha these females get. They can't whoop no man. OK, <laughs> some of these feminine, their emotions are imbalanced because of their lives the stuff that they've been through, you know, in these situations here. And they ne just need the right balanced relationship to bring balance within their own life. But then some people just need to just take a season to just rest and just rejuvenate your own life. Do your own inner work, <clears throat> bring some healing, pamper yourself instead of giving outward, give inward. And that's going to attract a healthy partner to you. Some of you guys, you're doing that. This is why you are showing up as this. And as a result, it's making you very, very magnetic in a sense where you're going to attract all types of things, not just spiritual things, but earthly things, too. You're also going to attract pursuers, people who, who are going to see the value in you <clears throat> because somebody's going to look at you and know that you are high value, you high class. You ain't just anybody. You don't you don't have to set, settle for anything. People, people just get the energy where they want to do for you. You know what I'm saying? They want to do things for you and things. You know, baby, no, 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 baby, you can have my seat. <laughs> no, 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 don't sit way back there. Come to the front. <laughs> no, 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 put your money up. <laughs> I pay for everything. I remember one guy did that, um, but he, it was so sweet. I'm talking about these magical moments. You better remember those magical times but it's, because it's going to help you now. But I remember, and I only needed... I think three little small, small items. And I think it was the holiday time, but the lines were so long. And I think it was Thanksgiving or Christmas. And you know how people go and they do their last minute shoppings. And it's one guy here. He said, hey, you can, you, 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 can, you can come in front of me since you only have a few items. And I said, okay, thank you. And so he said, you know what? He said, everybody over here in my line, I'm going to buy everybody's stuff. And I'm like, whatever you, what, whatever you got in your basket, I'm going to buy it, <laughs> yo. And I was, <laughs> I was standing there with my little old bit of pathetic items. <laughs> look, y'all, I'm just saying, well, he must have had it. He look, he look, don't come for me because he said it. Okay. I'm thinking of, maybe I should have got a turkey or something. <laughs> and so I started, so he looked at me and I made eye contact with him. We both, both started laughing. <laughs> Cause he was looking at my little idol. He said, he said, um, 
you can go back and get you whatever you need. <laughs> no, all I need, no, all I had was some aluminum foil and some pie crust. He said, you can go back and get whatever you want. He said it, Lord. I said, no, I don't need anything. But it was so freaking sweet, y'all. That man paid for everything. I mean, them folks, they had, some of the folks had baskets full of stuff. <laughs> But I didn't get a lot of things because I didn't need a lot of things. But it was just the thoughts. I was at the right place at the right time, huh? Or did it follow me? Because maybe he wasn't going to buy everybody's stuff until I was there. Because you remember, he told me, no, you come get in front of me. You, got, you ain't got nothing. And we began to do a little small talk. And I guess he said, shit, I'm, ta I'm talking to a goddamn goddess. <laughs> You know what drinks on the house got everybody a turkey a dinner for everybody. Ooh, I'm telling you, you're the magnetic attractor here. It doesn't mean you're perfect. Doesn't mean your life is together, but it means that you deserve to be happy in whatever situation that comes your way. See, you a catch, the empress. See, there you go, Mama Nine of Pentacles. See how? See, for some of you guys, all you need is the right person. But somebody coming in here to you. See. You're very, very giving. You're very, very nurturing. You're very, very generous with your love. Look at that six of pentacles and in return, you're going to get it back. I'm feeling new birth here. Rebirth, new birth. Ooh, what's up with that empress? See that? See how abundant you are? See, this is a good, this is a good luck time for you, Scorpios, where people are going to want to do things for you. And I'm telling y'all, for some of you Scorpios, some of you, some of you guys, your energy is going to be so magnetic that even though you may be going through things behind the scenes, it's not going to show. People are going to give to the abundance in you that they see and not the negative things that you may be lacking behind the scenes. Because that's not what they're going to see, especially if you're doing spiritual work, Scorpios. It's a lucky time for the Scorpios. Look, I told you, see, 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 see. Somebody say you the type that I love. God dang it. This is the type of person that's going to cook for you. They go to King of Cups. That's the one you want, see? And they ain't got to be a water sign. It could be an earth sign, a Lib a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It could very well be either one. Look, and that go to King of Swords. So maybe you have multiple folks that's come. Ooh, and that go to Page of Swords, see? Ooh, we. And that go that emperor and justice. Ooh, here we go with this. Why is the four swords here? They coming. So don't get mad because folks coming to you when you know what you're working with. You can't walk around here with your head down, boo. Four swords, king of pentacles. Thinking there was somebody landed to, ooh, that go to Star Card. Ooh, I wonder who they thinking about and what are are they thinking about? Love. Scorpio, they thinking about that two of cups love with you, boo. See? Somebody's changed. Ooh, my God. See? See? Look at this. <laughs> Somebody having a change of heart, god dang it, about that Empress. Listen, that Empress hitting hard. <laughs> They said, cause they never knew love like this before. Open my eyes, cause they never knew love like this before. They ain't never knew it, Scorpio. That's why I come they messed up, see? Somebody said, you're going to have me coming in here buying everything for you, little mama. I want to get your toes done. You look like your toes would be pretty if they was orange. Now, you got to paint them orange now because my favorite color, orange. And I want you, now here, now here's $500 to get your nails on your toes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you think what you want? Just in case you don't know what to think, let me help you. <laughs> Ooh, it's time to think big, boo. Let's say the masculines, God dang it. I ain't forgot about y'all. You got somebody coming in here that say, baby, when was the last time you had a home-cooked meal? Well, 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 let me show, well, well, let me cater to you. I always see, you know, I, I remember when you was with so-and-so, I always thought that you was a loving guy, but I don't think that maybe you was treated right. Let me show you what love feels like. 
Only thing I want to do is just show you a good time. Uh, can I? That's the Dr. Love. Dr. Love be trying to flex and act like he hard and stuff. That's to, that's to rob, god dang it. All the masculines that be trying to act like, you know, love, you know, that they have everything under control and all those things like that. But most of these masculines are afraid to really open up because they've been hurt. You know, the feminines are too. But you got your feminine here that's looking at you like, especially if it's someone here who may have had a hard time opening up and expressing themselves, something about your light, if you are doing that spiritual work, is going to draw them to you. You are a light. You remember, you got a lot of luck around you. You got a lot of fertility. You got a lot of abundance. You got that catering energy. So you masculines, you make somebody want to cater to you. They say, you make me just want to be a woman to my man. <laughs> Baby, let me cook your lunch, dinner, and supper, and your snack. Do you need a, Do you need me to wash your back? I'm just saying. Do you need me? <laughs> oh, don't come for me. <laughs> Ace of Swords. What's up? <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. Cause you got the Nine of Pentacles. It's almost like you're single, Scorpio. Somebody come gonna come in here and spoil you. They're going to spoil you in such a way you can't say no. You, don't, you ain't going to be popping up like, I don't need nobody. <laughs> Before you can say it, it's going to be done. Some of y'all need to pipe down and let a man love you. Compromise, god dang it. Ooh, that's, that's going to feel good, huh? Eight of one, some type of communication. See, y'all got some communications coming in. There go that empress. She ain't going nowhere, see? To restore the balance could be a Sagittarius, a Libra. Look, they go to Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So somebody may call you out and invite you out. They go to the Knight of Pentacles. I wonder if I take you home, would you still be in love, baby? Because I need you tonight. Ho -ho. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. Home, home. Home, home. You got the Ten of Cups here. <clears throat> Two of Wands. Someone may be hoping that they're not too late. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. <clears throat> somebody say, God dang, I hope I ain't missed out on this. Because somebody's waking up. See, they go to Judd, they go to Devil. And the Three of Cups in reverse. Somebody's coming out of the darkness. See? So some of y'all may be dealing with somebody here who was indecisive in the past in some type of way. Could have been third party interferences, but somebody's seeing the light because you remember you got the hangman up here. This king of swords here. Now the king of pentacles. I'm sorry. You got the four of pentacles, king of four swords, king of pentacles, two of cups, the star and the hangman. So someone is changing their focus here. Someone here is stuck. Someone has really been thinking about you and this connection here. And for some of y'all, somebody realizing that they're in love with you, Scorpio. That's what it is. The star. I'm going to do the person in love with you. We're going to get down to the nitty gritty of this person. Ooh, Scorpio, look, see, because they go to King of Swords. There they go. See, could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. They're not able to let it go. But the times keep holding on. What am I gonna do? I can't get over enlightenment. There it is. See? So see, Ben, it's a good luck time for everything around you, Scorpios. I'm telling you, including your love life, your finances, your career, uh, better creative endeavors. See, this person is waking up. That goes to the nine of wands. Somebody may be realizing that I'm blocking this. Eight of Pentacles. <coughs> Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpios? The Hermit there. It could be a Virgo. Look, they go to Eight of Pentacles again. Somebody want to work things out or somebody's been watching you work. Somebody may be on your job. See, they go to Fool. They go to Page of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Somebody, you're gonna, you can expect a message. It could be multiple communications coming in, Scorpios. Either you have your choices here, you may have your options because you have the lovers. Watch the lovers here. <clears throat> you know you're going to be attracted, see? Knight of Wands. Mm. There they go with that. 
some of y'all look you got you got somebody rushing in you remember we saw passion very into you because you're exuberating all of this magic here and some of y'all may be expecting a child now <laughs> something could you know because we see the empress she's with child she's a mother the lovers someone is attracted to you romantically ten of wands Why is the lovers here? Gemini. So there's a physical attraction here too. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. Why is the Two of Cups here for Scorpios? Clarify Two of Cups. <clears throat> Somebody could have been asking for advice. Somebody could have been discussing you. Trying to figure out. See, they go justice. Could be a Libra. They go that four swords again. See, we started off with the four swords. See, I tell you, somebody been thinking, see, and they go teach us, see. I feel like if this is someone that you know, you've talked to this person a lot. Ooh, somebody feel like they can learn and grow from you. Two of cups with you, see? And there go that king of pentacles with the teacher card. And look up here. Ooh, see? The four swords and the king of pentacles. See, there it is. See, they go teacher. With the queen of coins, you got y'all gonna end up going under some contract. I feel like this y'all gonna come back with somebody that you've taken a break from. And things are gonna be different between y'all if something has changed or you're gonna meet someone new and y'all gonna have a lot of the same qualities. Look at that. Ten of cups. Queen of cups. You already got the king of cups right here. You got the king of cups with the ace of cups. This is your person for some of y'all. Because this is the time where something is going to come together. A lot of love, a lot of at home time. Five of Wands. Some of y'all don't believe it though. Two of Swords. Y'all probably ignoring this person. Y'all done blocked this person, but this is somebody you were in love with. See, death. See, oof. As soon as y'all move on from this person. Even though y'all, some of y'all don't want to hear from them, they here they come. It's not over, Scorpio. For some of y'all, it's not over. But y'all not trusting y'all intuition because you're too guarded. You're too guarded when you shouldn't be because you got all this amazing energy that you are in. It's like the slightest things you say or do is going to happen. So use your mind, your thoughts wisely. It, you know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got to turn nobody apart. You don't want to wish and well, forgive and move on. But watch your mind, watch your thoughts, watch your words right now because that stuff is going to happen. And you're going to look up and you're going to say, God dang, I was just playing. Uh-uh, it's going to happen. It's coming. So you better be mindful, Scorpio, because you're so magical now. Whatever you say, think, or do is going to happen, Scorpio. This is your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe.